Octagon. Hello everyone and welcome to another Otomad Reaction video. My name is Stanpai and today we're going to be watching the glorious Octagon of Destiny. Uh, this is the brand new Octagon collab. My understanding, Octagon collabs are generally cursed when it comes to whether or not they'll actually come out. And so for that reason, I'm pretty excited to watch this one. Uh, admittedly, I'm not really that crazy about Octagon as a source. It doesn't mean anything to me. Uh, unlike things like Gachi Muchi or even, you know, Ronald McDonald, I, I don't really care that much about Octagon. So in this case, I've heard from a couple of people in the community that they're interested in hearing what I think of this collab and hearing my take on it. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. So without further ado, my almost 100% blind view of the glorious octagon of destiny three two one go <laughs> yes. Welcome to my castle. <laughs>
<laughs> so the strongest thing in my opinion about this entire collab is without a doubt the song selection uh you know what what was chosen for remakes right and to be modernized like this i feel like uh, this collab really hit all of the the requirements when it comes to like having songs that are nico nico approved and and ytpmv like this this is how it's supposed to be these are the kinds of songs that need to be in it and creative approaches around them i feel like a good chunk of these submissions in this overall collab like these parts a handful of them really managed to create something original with the source material uh rather than just making flash you know and sparkles around the same clip over and over a number of these did creative things. I mean, the WarioWare, for example. And I mean, that was like... If you want to get me on your side in the beginning of a collaboration, WarioWare is all you need. Like, that that was enough for me to be like, I'm in. Uh, so that was an awesome start. And I felt like it, it captured that WarioWare spirit just right. Uh, the Octovania was a fun surprise. I mean, it's no surprise to me like that I liked it. I like Castlevania stuff, especially classic Vania. Uh, the presence of Toho, we've got Kirby, you know, I mean, there are so many things going on in this, but also I felt like real throwback, like stuff that you hear in every old school Nico Nico medley. Uh, the rapid fire at the end really like hit all the, oh, and just, just so we don't miss our, you know, our, our checklist, like let's make sure we throw everything in here real quick. So I, I really appreciated the content that was in this. Uh, let me just quickly like scrub through. Yeah, like the gourmet race was really like it was quite funny. You know, just seeing not that gourmet race was. It's just just seeing like the 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 Jack Black DD with the Elmo Kirby F Zero was really really well executed. I want to give special shout outs to everybody who was creative and using other Jack Black sources to uh, make more than just. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, uh, I feel like that's something to kind of keep in mind. Yes, I know we're all using the same really short source here, but it's definitely that doesn't mean that you can't get creative and and branch out into relevant source material that features the same people. Like, 
Jack Black has been in so many movies that I'm surprised that I saw so much of the same one to eight countdown and whatnot. Uh, but you know, same with Elmo, you can do much more. And a number of the parts in this collab did that. They went the extra step uh, and explored, you know, creatively how you can incorporate Jack Black and Octagons. The, the Paper Mario bit, I would say, was like 50-50 on Flash and Substance. Um, I, I think really like F Zero may be my favorite part, just because it was it was very well executed. The stop sign being involved. In, I wanted to uh, I wanted to see if Elmo was going to steal the precious stop sign. Um, I was looking forward to that that like final push home. Uh, there's just a lot of good in this, I mean, and stuff I didn't expect to see. Like I said, Super Punch. I was like, what? Uh, I mentioned this was almost 100% blind. Just before I watched it, I did find out that We Are Number One was in this. Um, I expected it to be more prevalent than just a brief moment. So I'm kind of glad that if I had something spoiled, it was just like a little sample of something rather than an entire part. Uh, I, I think that this collab overall, it starts off just right, you know, with with WarioWare proper. Once like that's really for me where the collab begins, and it's an awesome start. And the just the progression throughout. I mean, there's a, there's a good balance of of not spending too much time while also spending like quality minutes on things i mean also the fact that this is eight minutes great great job on making it exactly eight minutes i think that's you know just a kind of a testament to quality i enjoyed the song selection a lot i've already said that but i think this is one of my favorite song selections of a collab i've watched pretty much ever uh and it keeps it succinct you know it's it doesn't dwell like i said like i kind of i feel like i'm gonna go in circles about this but it really manages to to hit all of the the, the minimal checklist stuff and also does some creative original things with it as well. And I'm not too surprised taking a look at who's on the credits list. I see a lot of all-stars, you know. People whose work I've appreciated for some time. So, you know, great job to everybody involved in this project. I really enjoyed it. And uh, I'm, I'm glad that because I don't care that much about Octagon, my views on the subject are also kind of like, just what do I think about it as an Otomad collab? I think it does the job. I think this is a safe thing to show people who are interested in Otamad or want to be introduced to it. I think this is a great example because it's not too long. It's got a lot of diverse content. It celebrates Jack Black and Elmo with the Octagon just right. And all in all, it's a pretty good time. So this one definitely gets the standpie seal of approval. I am so glad that I watched it. I'm glad that people reached out to me about it. And I'm glad that it's here because... You know, not everything has to be over the top like Gachi Uh And also the use of things like Inmu, very like subtle and tasteful. You know, it wasn't over the top. And I, I feel like it was balanced just right where I saw... That's really it. Like seeing other Nico Nico related sources in this, you know, like Kiss and... Um, man, it's just... You know, Fukureta, like all these things happening in the background that really speak to the legacy of Otomad in general. And I think having new and old together is really what it's about. Give it some time before you make another one. Let this settle. Don't don't rush into making another Octagon collab. We don't need it. We don't need it for a while. So rest knowing you did a darn good job with this one. That pretty much sums things up. Uh, my name is Stanpai. Thanks for watching and, and watching this Otomad with me. Uh, if you would like to know more about Otomads in general or see some other collabs, I have a few other reaction videos here on the channel. But also, I highly encourage you just take a look at different collaborations that have been made over the years. There are a lot of talented people making a lot of amazing things together. So, I, I really can't recommend it enough. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure to support the original video upload as well as those content creators who had a part in making this. To all of you, I say, great job. Don't quit doing what you're doing. I love what you do. Until next time, this is Standby. Thank you for watching. Ari ari arrivederci.